This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freekeen.com. Yeah, this call may be recorded. It's Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. I understand you have a ban on visitors wearing shorts. Is that correct? Say again. I understand you have a ban on visitors wearing shorts. Is that correct? A ban on visitors wearing shorts. Yes, sir. I believe it's on all. Uh, yes, yeah, shorts are not permitted to be worn in the facility by males or females except by children under the age of 12 years of age in the summer. Does the ban apply to inmates? Uh, yes, I do believe so. In the, there's no, there's no, I don't believe there's no shorts they can purchase on the commissary. In the event of a power failure, what measures are in place to ensure your prisoners don't die of heat? Dive heat. Once, uh, once the temperature reaches, uh, I believe, over 100 or the, the heat index is over like cap 5, then we uh, do cancel rec, I believe, after 10 a.m. So how would canceling rec keep your prisoners from overheating? Uh, we do maintain air conditioning in all the pods and units in the facility, sir. What happens if the power goes out? If the power goes out, then we rehouse inmates if we're not able to get them and store cooler. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, how much does it cost taxpayers per month to keep one of your people detained, or one one person detained in your facility? I'm not too sure, sir. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, you've, of, uh, you've, you've, helped, you've, been more, you've been more forthcoming than I would have expected, and I do appreciate that. All right, sir. Is there anything else I can help you, though? I also work in the entry control point here for the facility. Nothing I can think of at the moment. All right, sir. You have a great day. All right. Take care. Scott, so please, Tilly. Yeah, this call may be recorded. Freedoms, um, I'm Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Freedoms Phoenix is reporting reporting that SPD was involved in this, uh, this Bitcoin raid where a guy was arrested for selling too many Bitcoin. I'd like to know more about that. Um, I can get you, I can, you can get a hold of our public information officer. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Do you want that information? Uh, can you just transfer me to him? Um, I can transfer you, but it's easier if you have, um, if you were going to give his number. You can give it to me if you want, but I'd appreciate if you'd transfer me to him. Okay, hold on a second. Hi, you've reached Sergeant Ben Oster with the Scottsdale Police Department. Please leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, Sergeant. It's Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. Uh, I have some questions about uh, an arrest that occurred in Mesa that Scottsdale PD was reportedly involved in. Freedoms Phoenix was reporting that you were involved. Uh, it's, a, it's a Bitcoin raid uh, where a guy was arrested for selling too many Bitcoin. His name is Thomas Costanzo. He's still in custody. The raid occurred on April 20th this year. Uh, I'm trying to find out what uh, SPD's role was in this raid exactly. I, I, I read the report that they were there. Um, you can reach me at Free Keen's evil and not very good. I hate Free Keen as much as I could. Because they have a blog and sometimes hold signs. 
drinking water from bottles and fighting government fines. Or maybe it's really because I'm riding a train that has some gravy on it in the taxpayer's name. Freaking.com